It's beer o'clock on Real Little Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Broughton Ales and it's a bottle of their dark and cloudy oatmeal espresso stout. Let me show it to you. It's 4.4% ABV. There's the label. There's the black bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the opening. Broad Nails were kind enough to send us the beer here on the channel. We got a lovely glass to pour it into. But as always, we are an honest channel here. We will be honest regarding the beer, whether it's a great beer, whether it's an average beer, whether it's an absolute stinker of a beer. We are always honest, regardless of what we get sent by breweries. Um, and the like. So, with that being said, beer in the glass, it's a jet black beer, it's got a two to three finger off white head, it looks very nice, very nice. If this was poured to me in the pub, I'd be very happy with this. If I turn the, the beer around here, you can see the nice levels of carbonation rising up the side of the glass so that gives an indication that it's not going to be an overly carbonated fizzy beer in your mouth let's get the aroma on this oatmeal espresso stout mm, that smells really good and I'm going to be honest at this stage I've just reviewed two beers which were really poor, really, really poor. Shipyard Export and a Gold Nail from, from the Notebook Brewery. And it was almost like I wanted to just shut the camera off and just pack up for the evening and just, just start again tomorrow. But no, I carried on, I battled on and I'm glad I battled on because this smells lovely. This chocolate, this coffee, this caramel, you're picking up that oat, you're almost picking up in the aroma that lovely creamy mouthfeel that I'm going to expect from this beer. It is like espresso. I have to dive in. It smells divine. Cheers. And voila, save my evening. Generally when I get bad beers, I generally kind of just review them. I either leave them on the side, or I pour them down the sink, or I wait till the morning and, and just sling the bottles out and just forget about that bad experience. Uh, this has really kind of lifted me. This has made me fall in love with craft beer then all over again because you can get a little bit disillusioned, you can, every now and again you get a run, you think I'm going to drink these three beers tonight, I'm going to review these three beers, and, and some of them turn out to be like stinkers, and you think, oh, I don't even want to bother drinking it, but this is well worth it, this is well worth my evening here in the kitchen. Mouthfeel is great. The first thing I get is a is a slight hazelnut, kind of nutty taste. It then quickly moves on to being a more of a chocolatey, with a nice kind of bitterness in there. And then on the back end, that espresso comes out in abundance. It's lovely. It really is a lovely tasting beer. Very very happy with this. Um, it seems like brought nails of have changed their pace, they've changed the way, certainly in their design. I've got a bottle of the beer that they sent me a few months ago, so bear with me very quickly. I'll just find it for you. Here's 
here it is it's the Broughton Old Jock Ale and you kind of there's nothing wrong with that it's good it's a good design it, it's got that Scottish figure ginger um, looks very strong and bold this beer is obviously going to be very strong and bold you look at the ABV 6.7% ABV so it represents everything that this beer is strong beer but this this just seems to this is a little bit more modern if you look at the two labels then regardless of what style of beer it is I think you would choose this style you would just choose it off the off the supermarket shelf or, or off your beer store shelf it just it's got a little bit more of an appeal and I like I like that step change from Broughton I like the fact that they they're willing to change things up and and, and modernize a little bit and I, I like the fact that they not they've not just modernized the bottle they've actually kind of this is probably so far the best beer that they've produced I'm really enjoying this I'm very enthusiastic about it I'm really kind of looking forward to my next sip. So caramel, chocolate, espresso on the back end. But also a nice kind of roasted, almost toasted, oaty, malty, freshly baked bread middle. And it all comes in to, to, to be a beer that, that I'm glad to hold. I'm glad that they've got this glassware. This glassware is also very nice. The beer has got great lace in. So rating them for Brought Nails Dark and Cloudy Oatmeal Espresso Stout of 4.4% ABV. And there's one more thing I just want to mention. It's on the back of this glass. Call it artisan. Call it bespoke brewing. Call it craft. We call it tradition. And it's fair and simple. It's a, it's a it's a way of Broughton expressing their own way of 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 because everybody at the moment they're all. There's people that produce craft beer, there's people who produce real ale, pardon me, there's people who produce really nice lagers and Russian Imperial Stouts and Imperial Porters and the like, but when it all boils down, it's all about the passion, it's all about the love affair for brewing beer. I don't think you ever, you, you might get the one or two breweries that, that make an absolute packet full of money, but you're never going to become a millionaire brewing beer. Let me tell you that. It's a labour of love. It's a love affair. It's something that when you get involved in it, you never let go. You never let go. Um, so I think that's just a way of explaining where they, where they are, where Broughton are, in terms of this whole kind of real ale craft beer movement that's going on at the moment. So, rating them for this beer. Dark and cloudy oatmeal express will start at 4.4% ABV. I'm going to rate it as, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from real ale craft beer. Improve my evening, improve my night, improve my mood. I'm going to go away and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Broughton for sending. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.